Hello, what is up everybody, RL57, Toys Review here, back with yet another diecast car video, and in today's video, we will be checking out the Tarmac Works Vertex Nissan Silvia S14 Special Edition, and uh, this is actually something different, also from Tarmac Works, but then it is slightly different. This time, we have a different type of box style which you might have remembered I've done a review previously of some sort of similar box style and yes you might have remembered I did a review about it the Shmi 150 Ford GT where it had the similar box style with something similar like that but still something similar to that box style but then this one this time fully by Tarmac Works not with Mini GT and Vertex to create this awesome masterpiece, the Vertex Nissan Silvia S14. And uh, just to tell you, I bought this from uh, Collector's Cube. You can go check out his maybe Instagram or maybe YouTube channel, Virtu Toys. Go check, in, go check him out. I'll leave in, uh, a link down in the comments section down below or maybe the uh, description. So here it is the uh, Vertex Nissan Silvia S14. Now, taking a look from the side of the box, it says Global 64 uh, Vertex Nissan Silvia S14 in matte black. There is the car itself in that sort of like um, uh, art style right there as well, more like comic style, I don't know, something like that, which is pretty nice. More to like gray and light gray uh, style of box art which is not too bad more to like black and white actually like judging by the global 64 and tarmac works kind of seems like a black and white style of a box you know so it says global 64 uh skill model 164 and um if you had two of the boxes basically you can connect to each other making it making it a full car basically but this one's on the side so yeah here's the back of the box tarmac works vertex uh scale model 164 and it is licensed by nissan you can check that out right there there's that if you want but yeah let's go ahead and open this one up So basically this is the blister, it's actually a tube blister, you know, it's like, you have to pull this out, hold on, let me show you, there, there you go. And that reveals the car itself in matte black, now just look at that, I haven't even uh, taken it out from the blister and it looks nice already. So yeah, let's take a look at the car itself now. It's been a while since this car has already released. But still, I was a big fan of it already when it first launched. And just look at that masterpiece. So here it is, the Nissan Silvia S14 Vertex now. Yes, this is in matte black. Don't be surprised if it's not matte black. But still, it actually is. Now, the S14, first of all, you do not see any rear spoiler in fact there is not even a rear lip so it's just empty no rear spoiler no rear lip no nothing it's just just a flat rear bonnet so pretty interesting about that one and another thing is well um it is an s14 not any s15 or s13 as you might expect but then s14 still look pretty good nonetheless But overall, it looks, it just looks pretty insane and just loving it. With the like vertex look to it, actually it's looking pretty nice. So here's the side of it. Uh, metallic, uh, I mean matte black actually. So yeah, it's matte black. Uh, you have some chrome bits on the wheels actually. 
they are six spokes but then it has some chrome bits as well it's like a chrome lining right there which is quite nice not gonna lie so um yeah that's for the side nothing much else but still pretty nice uh side mirrors yeah they are plastic but not rubber surprisingly so moving on to the front you have the front headlights which are transparent and plastic no nissan logo or anything i understand that because this is already heavily customized you have the front air intake i think or is that a cooler i'm not sure there's the front you have the front grille which is pretty insane for the front I do really like it. It's more to like JDM, JDM-ish type of front bumper. So it says Vertex for the uh, windshield banner, which is pretty nice. So here is the other side. If you want to see it, there you go. Loving it. Moving on to, to the back, you have the rear lights of a Nissan S14, if you're wondering. Because some of you might think that this is a half body. So that means it could be a rear of an S15 and a front of an S14, but not the case for this car, obviously. So um, yeah, you have some modified parts as well at the back right here, you can probably see. You even have a modified rear bumper and modified front bumper, some modified skirts, uh, side skirts as well. And uh, you have a single exhaust here, which is in silver right there. Which is quite cool not gonna lie pretty nice no license plate or anything i understand that it says gutty group though on the uh, rear of the car so i'm not sure why but maybe some of you can leave it down uh leave your answer down in the comment section down below so it says tarmac works over there uh vertex s14 sylvia and made in china Man, this car just looks insane. Just judging by how it looks in the matte black look. I mean, like, it doesn't matter whether it, whether it's metallic black or matte black. It still looks awesome, especially the S14. It's just crazy. Like, S14 or S15, even in some cases S13 as well. They just look great in most of the colors including black which is just nice to see just like this car itself just looks crazy it has the lowered body obviously you have the lowered suspension as you can tell the uh, front bumper change the rear bumper mods as well side skirts and uh, no spoiler surprisingly and um, yeah the modified uh, wheels as well just look pretty insane and yeah let us put it over there and like this yeah there you go the, this car would be suitable for more to like i don't know maybe jdm car meets i would say i might actually do a jdm car meet i want to try it with this uh a dream custom mat Maybe soon I'll inform you in my uh, Instagram. Maybe I'll share some pictures of some JDM car meets, diecast JDM car meets. But yeah, that is all for now. Once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below whether you like this car or not. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye bye.